Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Um, welcome to um, a lecture um, eight, the eight my eight lecture. Um, today this is uh, this lecture is the continuity from the previous lecture, green fuel sources of um, HVAC system. And this time we're gonna see um, how we can use biomass. How can we implement biomass um, as um, an innovation in green hashtag system? Um, and I'm gonna explain a bit how to use biomass uh, as fuel source in hashtag system. We will also see how can we integrate all these green fuels, um, what we explained before, uh, the fuel cell, photovoltaic, the wind turbine and also the biomass. How can we integrate all those sources with um, HVAC system to power up the HVAC system. Right, let's look at biomass first. So, what's the issue? This is basically my research um, and it is executed by your senior students um, in HVAC system, namely in a dehumidifier in air dehumidifier um, we use biomass in this um, desiccant, uh, as desiccant filter we use it in the filter to replace the existing um, desiccant which is uh, chemical and it is normally um, silica gel there are also other chemicals such as calcium oxide and calcium sulfate and other chemicals too that I didn't name it here as desiccant but the problem is the issue is um, all these chemicals um, releases form aldehyde during regeneration process because as the desiccant absorbs the humidity from the air um, until one time it reach um, its absorption level it cannot absorb any humidity anymore so we need to regenerate it by heating the desiccant so that the water evaporates from desiccant and the desiccant can absorb water again from uh, humid air to guarantee um, the inlet of the humidified air sorry the outlet of, of uh, dehumidified air and during the regeneration process these chemical substances or chemical desiccant releases from aldehyde which is uh, inhaled by the occupants and can, can cause dizziness nausea and in the long term it can cause other respiratory problems and this is very hazardous to the occupants it, it may even cause cancer so the idea is to replace this uh, chemical desiccant with greener desiccant which is an organic um, desiccant organic base organic substances as desiccant and since in Malacca we have a lot of uh, young coconut stalls because Malacca is so famous with coconut shake uh, with coconut um, drink so we have the young coconut waste a lot and according to our survey um, almost four tons per week is um, uh, young the young coconut waste is generated 
um, approximately four tons per week um, in the whole Malacca and this waste um, is uh, problematic to the land because it will cause the landfill problems to the operators um, and um, it is smelly and aesthetically it is not um, not easy to the eyes so we can convert this waste this abundant waste into um, desiccant because uh, young coconut waste when it is treated dried and crushed treated and dried um, it can be converted to desiccant powder and it can absorb water as good as silica gel this is due to according to our experiment right now we have this uh, green desiccant filter that I named ecoco and basically this um, desiccant powder from young coconut waste is used as desiccant filter in dehumidifier um, device Alright, um, and the function of ECOCO is to control relative humidity in air to obtain optimal comfort and it is used as green alternative to chemical desiccant in the existing commercial dehumidifier which is harmful to human health and the environment and the advantages of the ECOCO is um, the ECOCO filter is greener it is 100% organic without uh, mix, mixing it with uh, other substances it is of course cheaper because the raw material is um, free and abundant you just need um, some cost to treat and pulverize the young coconut waste and according to our experiment it produces less formaldehyde release um, compared to calcium sulfate and almost the same as um, silica uh, it is lower than a bit lower than silica gel therefore it is more safe and adsorbent performance of the ECOCO filter is equivalent to silica gel and as the impact to the community community um, we can reduce solid waste to increase the aesthetic value of a place and it can reduce landfill problem when we use the waste and process it and convert it to another useful form then we do not need to throw it away and this is to reduce the air pollution due to the reduction of formaldehyde gas release during the regeneration process and we can also eliminate the odor pollution from the moist young coconut waste right now that's all for, for biomass um, but biomass can also be converted to fuel and can be used uh, can be used in combustion process um, for example it can be converted to pellet as um, this uh, as the um, replacement to coal for example so it can be used in combustion and uh, it can be used for example in boiler um, and where, where wherever it is needed and from the boiler um, we can connect to steam turbine and connect it to uh, generator 
so that it can produce electricity and it, uh, the electricity can be stored in battery or it can be directly used to power up uh, the HVAC system for example or any other devices right so we're gonna see the fuel cell integration system um, here is the fuel cell unit this is the control for the fuel cell so what I want to show you is actually the connection from the fuel cell where the electricity is generated um, until the until you can connect it to HVAC system and basically from the fuel cell um, the electricity will go to DC converter or direct current converter and it can be tapped to uh, to be used in any devices or any equipments that needs um, direct current or whether whichever um, whatever device that has direct current load and it can also be stored in battery for later usage or maybe um, the excess of the um, used electricity can be stored in the battery and it can also be connected to inverter so that um, the direct current is converted to alternating current and can be used in devices which has um, dynamic load and therefore needs uh, need AC current or alternating current and this is where you can connect your air conditioner load right um, and if you are uh, to export the electricity um, to the utility grid then you will need a filter and transformer if it is needed to step up or step down uh, so that it can go to trans uh, throughout the transmission line and in the end it will go to any alternating current load right so you can also put your aircon here so whenever it go to through the transmission line um, let's say this is the farm uh, the, where the fuel cell is stored and the electricity goes through through the transmission line and it go to um, your home for example to power up air conditioner or other dynamic load right now we go to wind turbine we want to see how wind turbine, wind turbine is connected to um, air conditioner and um, wind turbine the electricity is generated um, via the cutting of magnetic field via the stator um, and it is connected to generator so electricity is uh, generated and from there the electricity um, will go to rectifier to rectify and convert um, the alternating current from the wind turbine to direct current and this direct current link can go to uh, can go to charger and in the end it is stored in battery banks because we know the battery needs direct current and from direct current it will go to inverter to convert the direct current to alternating uh, alternating current where you can um, either connect it to 
um, transformer to steady step it up and set it to power utility grid and in the end go to your home or directly tap it to um, alternating current devices all right so this is where your aircon Mm, in the end, um, in this uh, from the utility grid, it is sent to our home and can power power up our um, air conditioner. We are talking about wind turbine farm, not the uh, not only one wind turbine. All right. So next is photovoltaic integrated system. Right, basically from the sun, the sun will pro uh, will provides the energy source, and the energy will be converted, and the energy will be conditioned. Um, and it will be distributed either for usage for for direct usage as I mentioned before in the in the other um, fuel systems or it can be sent to electric utility grid or during the inversion of and conditioning it can be stored in battery for example so basically if we have photovoltaic modules these modules will generate electric from the um, from the transfer of electrons the reaction in the semiconductor mm, the uh, um, p junction and n junction and the electron will be sent out through the circuit and that will create the electricity and the electricity generated from the PV modules will go into the voltage regulator so that the spike or any dynamic um, voltage that is generated from the PV modules will be flattened up and from there um, it will go to um, inverter and converts it uh, from direct current to um, alternating current and from inverter um, you can um, go you can connect it to any um, alternating current voltage or you can also send it to the um, utility grid and from from the inverter you can also connect it directly to the uh, to your main fuse box house uh, main fuse box of your house and from there the air conditioner will, will be connected here and to store um, the electricity generated from the photovoltaic modules actually from the voltage regulator um, DC current is um, generated and it can be tapped here um, into the uh, battery bank to be used for the later usage right this is the biomass integrated system biomass and um, AC air conditioner integrated system if you have a boiler the biomass will be burned in the boiler uh, maybe it is in, uh, in, in form of pellet or any other form um, as fuel source and it will boil water and the uh, steam will be connected to uh, steam turbine or condensing turbine um, and in red that means it's hot 
so the turbine will spin and connect it to generator and it will generate electricity and uh, the steam will go further to the condenser and it will be cooled um, via cooling tower or um, uh, by other means to reject heat and um, from condenser the water the condensate water will goes back to the boiler so that it can be reused again All right and the electricity is generated um, and it can be sent again to the utility grid or can be tapped uh, directly to the devices that needs um, power so I hope you can see the picture how um, any fuel can be connected to HVAC system and it is to be understood that um, a photovoltaic uh, the biomass will uh, produce direct current the photovoltaic will also produce um, direct current and wind turbine um, is the only uh, devices that produce um, alternating current and needs to be rectified before it produce direct current and again converted to AC via inverter and as for fuel cell it is uh, it also produces direct current alright so I hope this clear up the cloud in your mind and see you in the next video thank you